In scriptures, the human body is often referred to as the temple of God. Yet, it is quite an uncommon privilege for any soul to attain this sacred abode that houses the divine, as it is truly a blessing to be reborn as a human being. On several occasions, Supreme Master Ching Hai has spoken about the rarity of this phenomenon. To be reincarnate in the human world is hard. You have to have enough human quality. You have to have affinity with the parents, yeah? And with the society, with the people around which you were born. And very difficult. To be a human, you need some merit. You have done something good in the past in order to be able, yeah? <laughs> to be able to pick a human birth. As a living temple of God, the human body is fully equipped with miraculous wonders that can be awakened in those who are spiritually conscious and have complete faith in the Creator of all life. In Adia, Latin for fasting is the human ability to live without food. Since time immemorial, there have always been individuals who can sustain themselves on prana or the vital life force. Through the grace of the providence, in idiots, people who follow a food-free lifestyle can draw the energy from nature to nourish themselves. They live on the chi, from the ground, or from the forest, and from the sun and from the air. They make use of all that. Or they live on love, on faith alone. These individuals are known as Pratharians, Solarians, Voltarians or Pranarians and they come from all walks of life, from different cultures and all corners of the world. Indeed, the possibilities and miracles in this life as our benevolent Creator has designed for us are endless. We only need to connect within to recognize our abounding largesse as God's children. Supreme Master Cheng Hai has lovingly recommended a weekly series on Supreme Master Television to introduce those individuals of the past and present who have chosen to live food free on earth. May their spiritual stories enthrall you. May hearts be opened and horizons be expanded. We now invite you to join us for part one of our three part program. Eliton bin Yisrael, living a holistic Pletharian lifestyle on Between Master and Disciples. This program discusses the possibility of Pletharianism or living without eating food and is not a full instruction. For your safety, please do not attempt to cease eating without proper expert guidance. Eliton Ben Israel has not eaten food for 10 years. He's healthy, energetic, and happy. To help others lead a healthier lifestyle, Alitam shares his knowledge of holistic medicine and exercises and promotes the compassionate, animal-free vegan diet. To learn more about his breatharian lifestyle, our Supreme Master Television correspondent interviewed Alitam in Ohio, USA. Greetings, global viewer of Supreme Master Television. Today, on the shores of Lake Erie in Northeast Ohio, we are here to talk with Eli Tom, a breatharian. We have many questions for him, and we would like him to share with us his philosophy on life. What we're doing is bringing holistic medicine, uh, utilizing in all aspects of our life to bring forth a higher energy that the physical body can feed off of. Feed off of for what? For better health, longevity, and also actually using this energy for all its duties in everyday life uh, without using physical foods. 
Although there are many examples of individuals who have lived food-free for years, it's still difficult for many people to conceptualize a lifestyle without food. And to many it, it is, dealing with the educational system and the paradigm shift that humanity has been in. Um, the main reason why a person eats is to gain energy. person's low on energy, I need to eat. So energy does not just come into the form of physical foods. So when we say I'm bringing uh, holistic practices that the human being is doing to gain more energy, just like exercising, if a person exercises every day, they'll say, I gain more energy back to when I didn't. But now you're actually understanding that the human body will automatically do that when a being puts that, their body into that type of cycle, and it can diminish physical foods altogether. What was Ellie Tom's lifestyle like prior to becoming food-free? What was it that motivated him to seek for an alternative lifestyle? Could you dwell, what was your diet like before you decide to become a breatharian? I was born in 69, and um, compared to the rest of the families around us, they just ate anything the money couldn't afford, from pork chops to chicken and everything else. Uh, soon our family, due to finances, rotated to that type of diet also and thought it was normal. The three meals a day, uh, the eating all types of different foods, whatever you felt like eating. However, the knowledge never came through that that was causing health problems. Now, being in the African-American community, <laughs> uh, which lead in almost every uh, aspect of negative health, uh, especially here in the shores of America, that was never brought to our attention that it was the diet that was actually bringing that. Luckily, in his quest for self-knowledge, Ellie Tom discovered an alternative, compassionate lifestyle that enlightened masters through the ages have taught and encouraged. Through the plant-based diet, Ellie Tom escaped from the fate of a lifetime of health problems as a result of consuming animal products. I was fortunate enough also as I got older to run into knowledge that you can change your diet. It's up to you. And immediately when I changed my diet to go from eating anything to a vegan, there was health improvements that took place on my physical being. How did Ellie Tom transition from being a vegan to living food free? Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Between Master and Disciples will return in just a moment.